The Taoiseach has expressed confidence that the revised water charges structure will measure up to scrutiny. And De Kenny was speaking in Cork, where he was once again confronted by angry protesters. Around 200 anti-water charge protesters braved the rain to demonstrate in Blackpool in Cork today, where the Taoiseach was making a jobs announcement. Protesters are angry that the water charges are too high, but now it looks like the Troika's worried the charges may be too low. We're not in a bailout anymore, but teams from the European Commission, European Central Bank and the IMF were back for a visit this week. They're worried that if the state gives Irish water too much money, it will breach EU rules and the massive cost of water services will be back on the government's balance sheet. It's always a, a case of where the uh, Eurostat uh, look at the analysis of uh, what, has, what, what has been put in place and they apply that uh, in, their statistical, in their statistical analysis. But we're very happy that Ireland will measure up here because the scheme has been designed specifically uh, for this purpose. And as I say, Europe's only involvement now is purely for statistical reasons. In a statement released this evening, the European Commission and European Central Bank are highlighting Ireland's economic growth, but are also warning that risks and challenges lie ahead. These include high unemployment and debt levels, as well as the risks posed by any further weakening in the Eurozone. Brian O'Donovan, The 5.30.